Ah, nice and early this morning. We are finally going to take down our head sail and put our logo on it, which we're pretty excited about. We think we might have found a spot. It's a perfect time to drop this sail, and I think we got no wind for most of the day, so we should be able to raise it again as well. Yeah, let's do it. Some of you may recall that we got our new sails back when we were in Northern Ireland for winter and we were on the dock. But when we got our head sail, it was missing our logo, like the decal on the head sail. We had to leave the dock, winter time was over and we just had to keep moving. So we had the sticker sent to us somewhere down the line when we were in Ireland, but we were on anchor and there was nowhere really convenient for us to bring the sail down, bring it over to shore, have a big enough surface area that was smooth and flat for us to attempt to successfully stick on the logo. So we just held on to it till now and we kind of knew that coming over to St. Martin there may be a couple of spots that could work. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless very very excited to try stick this on finally. I'm looking so forward to seeing what it's going to look like with our big logo on the head sail uh, when the sails are up. loaded and ready to go. Perfect little spot. Right up. Park here. Oh, we're getting pulled up. This is the spot. Lots of grass behind Travis there. Yeah, big spot right there. I think we found a spot. It's all good. Yeah, there's a track that goes around. There's this little piece that kind of jets out on its own. And yeah, I think this is the best we're going to find. Big open. Open and clean. Yeah, semi level. <laughs> semi level. We're going to put the sticker on the same side as the UV cover is, which is the gray canvas that we have sewn onto the foot of the sail. Go. Let's see. The dye is wearing off on my feet. Oh no. I guarantee if I yeah, it'll wear oh, off. Oh yeah, no, that. I see it. Do not step on the sail, sir. We're still trying to get some of that red Sahara dust off of the sail from back when we were in Mediterranean. All right, well, let's see what this looks like. I know, it's been sitting a while and it's got some kinks in it. Hopefully, we'll be able to lay it flat enough. We've got this board, which is actually what we use as a screen when we do projector night movies. But we'll use that as a backing because obviously this isn't smooth. See what we got. And he's got a little scraper thing to smooth it out. I think actually we might be in better shape if I can get this lane flat. What we've now done is put a slight belly in the sail from us using it from brand new. So like if you put this on brand new, 
and then you get that belly. I guess this fabric would stretch anyways, but now it's a better chance that it might start Stay. to be stretched, yeah. So. so I guess these are just extras. Okay. Which is cool. If you needed to like repair a little spot or something like that, maybe you have yeah, uh, at least something. I just don't want it super low to the foot. I think we got it on the first go. I like this because it's got a line here to follow on the left of the sail. And then as the sail gets bigger, we take away some of that negative space here along the foot of the sail with the end of the uh, J there. I really like it. I think it's gonna look so cool. I kind of actually now feel it needs to come up quite a lot. But I don't want it to go past the line there. Why? Like if the T was kind of almost like taking up this space, like right here, then it gets too busy because you've got other black, whereas this is just a wide open white space and then you fill it with our logo. Yeah, like, oh, it's going to be like right at the bottom. So, oh. I don't know. See what I mean now? Well, yeah, but that's the widest point of the sail. When we're sailing, that's super high up and it goes really tapered off. Right? Well, yeah. We only get one shot at this, so we've got to really make sure that we get it where we want it. Yeah, I think we nailed it. Time to do it. <clears throat> what? Misalign it? No, I just um, I wanted this. Oh yeah, you need this that. to overlap this. Yeah, so it... you need to stick that part down first. How are you gonna stick that bottom one down if you've already stuck on top? Yeah, I just want if any water flows, it goes over instead of starting to like. Yeah. Seep in. Ay ay ay. Okay. Ah. I don't think I can do anything actually. It's got to go on top. No. Yeah. The water's going to seep right no, into I the buoy. I got another idea I can do. Like patch it over top. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put a piece over top just to double it to make sure. Okay. Just winging it. A little bit more. You're good. Look what I see. Better not tell Travis or he may get distracted from the task at hand. Oh, he's so cool. Turquoise on his head. There's another one. Oh, he's missing part of his tail and he's a little limpy. Oh, ran away. Our only worry right now is the dye from the track here transferring onto our sail the longer that we have it sitting in this heat, pressing against it. So we're trying to work as fast as we can right now. Oh, but Travis has no nails to peel the backing off of this sticker. <laughs> you want me to do it? Here. We got it. The benefit of it being hot is that these creases that were in the logo there are flattening down nicely as Travis is scraping it down. We were worried about the edges not sticking cleanly because of it. This is just a felt pad. This is actually for applying vinyl. I'm going to say thanks to my buddy Nate who lent this to me about nine years ago. Oh, I just dripped sweat on there. Oh no, wipe that off. Otherwise it's not going to stick. My sweat literally just dripped somewhere. I've just been holding and drooping as Travis peels back and presses down. We made it a little bit easier here with the loop on the top by just cutting the paper backing in half so we could switch between one side and the other. Failing heavily here. Look at our conditions. I made too much of a hard point. Hard because in the sail, if it's not tight too, then I'm dealing with the, the flexibility and the, like, the movement of the sail. Yeah. As well as the... I think this is a pretty darn good job. So far. So far. <laughs> we're just taking some of the extra here and we're going to put a couple of reinforcement pieces. If we ever see any of these 
seams start to lift, we can just easily repatch it. That looks sweet. That's so sick. I can't see today. Supposed to be a boat next to us. I can't see him though. Now that it's daylight, we can see our head sail and it looks freaking sweet. It's so awesome. It looks amazing. We've been looking forward to seeing our gypsy anchor on our head sail for quite some time. What makes it even better is that we get to see it for the first time sailing to one of our top cruising destinations, the British Virgin Islands. Yeah, we're so excited to be back here. Like I said, it's one of our favorites. We got super comfortable in St. Martin, getting things done, working on the boat, like, I guess just having a little bit of normalcy with like how accessible everything is there. But now we're looking forward to just enjoying being on the water and enjoying some more remote spots, free diving, all of that. had a pretty awesome sail I'd say. Sea state's been comfortable, the winds have been perfect and yeah now we're almost there. I think we made really good time. So yeah. I think we're ahead of schedule by a couple of hours which is always nice. Yeah, yeah I think so a few hours. So that's awesome. I prefer leaving at night because we just sail throughout the night. We get here in the daytime. Hopefully we can run through all the check-in and custom stuff fairly quickly that we get to enjoy the rest of day one as opposed to you know arriving at night and it being late, dark or whatever, and then you don't really get to enjoy on day one where like we're the most excited, at least I'm the most excited as we come closer. So yeah, it's nice to know that we still have daylight left. We put the rod out, but no fish bit the entire time. It's exciting because we're getting closer. We've got our BVI's flag ready to be hoisted. And we're, oh yeah, we're getting close enough that I can see, I think it's other sailboats. Oh my gosh, our windows are so salty and not clear anymore. Do you want to talk about our sad windows? Our sad windows? They're sad. <laughs> they used to be so clear that you could barely tell we had windows. I don't know if we've ever explained it before, but our Dodger is made out of Macaron. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is like that super hard glass that scratches very easy, but it's rigid and it's super clear and it literally looked like we didn't have any windows. It was that clear for the first year and a half. And then we just had that soft like roll up glass here. Is it called strata glass? Oh, um, PS bottles. Yep. 
what I'm watching. So yeah, this stuff started kind of getting a little gummy, like especially these ones that we roll up. We call them the curtains because we roll them up and I guess the UV sunscreen that scrapes on whatever else that gets trapped in it as we roll it up. It got all gummy, so these ones aren't clear either. It's just, it's kind of depressing because they were really expensive to get done. They're all crazed and yellow. Not really so much yellow in this lighting. But. It's a huge bummer. It is, because you can't see, especially at night or like when there's the sun reflecting off of it, it makes it really, really hard to see. It's on the list. We do want to redo them, but uh, I could probably sew a majority of these, but I want to change change it up so it, it doesn't leak in certain spots. And then it, we're undecided what to do with the Dodger, if it's going to be Strata, because it will last a little longer, but we it's... liked Macron just because it was so clear. Yeah, because it's super rigid and it, it won't bag yeah. out or anything. We're unsure, but it's on the list. We're just arriving in Spanish Town now, and we are two hours ahead of schedule, or what we thought it would take us to get here. We're just trying to find a spot to drop the hook, and then we'll head in and do all our check-in stuff here. Wow, look at the name of that boat. I love it. Fat Cat, that's awesome. We are ecstatic to be back here in the BVIs, where we sail to more remote anchorages, dive in to explore vibrant marine life, and enjoy life on our boat with a community of like-minded sailors. Hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.